So this question says, for a polynomial p of x, the value of p of 3 is negative 2. I'm just going to underline that. Which of the following must be true? That's also important. Anytime I see the words must be true on this test, that lets me know that there's probably multiple correct answers, um, but only one of them has to always work versus the others that may be just situational. Right, so which of the following must be true about p of x? So what do we know? We know that p of 3 equals negative 2. And what does that mean? That means that when, right, when x equals 3, y equals negative 2. And this is a very important understanding, right? So this p of 3, p of x, f of x, g of x, any of those function notations that you see on this test, I like to just you know completely get rid of them get rid of them in my mind and think of them as just y right so when the x part is 3 then the solution or y is equal to negative 2 but we don't actually know what p of x is what is p of x so we have this information about p of x but we're not really sure what it is so what i'm going to do here especially since we, especially since it has to be true, is I'm going to make up a P of X, right? So you might think that's weird, but just follow me a little bit here. You'll see why this makes the most sense for answering this question. So since I know that I need to get Y equals 2 when X equals 3, I'm going to make up a P of X function. Let's say I have, um, let's say I have 2X squared plus 3X. Let's keep the number small. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to leave this blank for right now because I'm going to put whatever number is necessary in order to make this statement true. So what do I know? I know that when x is 3, so 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3, simplifying that, I get 2 times 9 plus 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. I get 18 plus 9, which is 27, right? So what needs to go here so that I end up with negative 2? Well, that would be a minus 29. So I just made up a function that will actually work given the parameters of this question. So I'm going to say my P of X is equal to 2X squared plus 3X minus 29. And again, you can make up any function that you want. You could have definitely started out with just X squared. Um, x cubed, really anything that you want. I would just say keep it as simple as possible. So now let's try the answer choices. Uh, x minus 5 is a factor. Well, is that true? If x minus 5 were a factor, that means that it will go into this 2x squared plus 3x minus 29 uh, with no remainder. So let's try that out really fast. So if I'm doing long division here, this x goes into 2x squared 2x times. Then I multiply this back down. I get 2x squared minus 10x. Subtract, which makes that addition, which makes that gone, which gives me 13x minus 29. Again, x into 13x. Well, that would be a plus 13 here. And then again, multiplying that back down here, make this 13x minus 65, and I can already tell without doing the math, where I'll, whereas this crosses out my 29, negative 29 plus 65 is not, um, does not cross out. So that means that choice A is not a good answer. So I'm gonna just erase my work here and cross out A. X minus two is a factor, right? So you can see this is not the easiest thing to do. But again, if I weren't explaining this, I could probably get through this a bit faster. And we're not taking that much time if you think about it, right? So the same exact process, I'll go a bit faster this time. So I'd have a 2x here and then a 2x squared minus 4x. This is minus, this is plus, this becomes 7x and minus 29. And then I'd have plus 7, which case I'm going to end up with a plus 14 here. So, you know, just to show you, so 7x plus 14 negative 7x plus 14. So that's not going to cross out either. So b is gone. Let's try x plus 2 into the same thing. 2x squared plus 3x minus 29. So same thing as 2x. 2x squared plus 4x minus and minus. So this becomes negative x minus 29, which makes this minus 1. 
which makes that negative x minus 2, but that becomes positive and positive. So once again, these numbers don't cross out, so c is gone. So I'm really hoping that choice d is the right answer. And of course, I would never suggest, unless your time is running out, I'd never suggest you just choose something because you hope it's right. So we're gonna actually work out choice D. And let's see what choice D says. So choice D says the remainder when P of X is divided by X minus three is negative two. Let's try that out, X minus three into again, my function that I created. Let's do the long division on it. So this would be two X, making this two X squared minus six X. Then I subtract, making that negative, making that positive, making this 9x minus 29, making this plus 9 up top, making this 9x minus 27. But then I subtract and I add. And what do I have left? A negative 2, which is what I was hoping, making choice D the right answer. So a little bit longer of a video than I typically like. But like I said, it didn't really take that long. If you were doing this on your own, it didn't have to explain each step to anyone. You just kind of blazed right through it. The most important things here is, first of all, knowing how to do the long division. So that was important. So if you haven't done it in a while, hopefully this served as a little bit of review for you. The second thing, right, and this is probably the most, uh, doing the long division is pretty important because even if you have the function, even if you figured out the function, um, it would be difficult to try out each of these answers, but creating this function is pretty important as well, right? So just keep in mind, um, just for an example, since I have you here for a long time, I'll create another function that also works. So I can say P of X equals, let's call it X cubed uh, minus, let's make it easy, minus X, right? Blank. And again, I just want this to all equal negative two in the end if I plug in three for X, so I'd have three cubed minus three, three cubed is 27, so 27 minus three, which is equal to 24. If I want a negative two, that means I'd have to subtract 26. And there you go, here's another function for P of X that also works given the provided information, which I would promise you also would lead you to choice D as the correct answer.